Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Today we're gonna to be fishing out on Bayou Bonnety in northern Louisiana. We had a pretty good day. We didn't have too many fish catches, but what we caught were pretty decent sized fish for the conditions. Uh, the day before, we had highs in the 70s. In the day of the video that you're gonna be watching, uh, the highs are about 50. So the water kind of dropped a few degrees, but it was still pretty warm, warmer than what we were expecting. Uh, we were able to catch most of our fish pretty shallow, which also surprised me. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching. There he is. Oh, that's a good one too. Oh, dude. My drag nut set or something? God. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, yeah, he wanted that thing too. Come here. Oh, God. That's a good one. <laughs> I was not expecting that right there at all. What I tell you, I thought we were going to catch one right there. That's a two and a half, three pounder. You, you got the scale? Not bad for the first fish of the morning right there. He was shallow. Hit right off the little old dock pilings too. He's got a, sh look in the back of his mouth. See that shad back there? Uh-huh. He's a two pounds, thirteen ounces, almost a three pounder. That's chunky. Yeah. You take a picture for me real quick. Alright, we're gonna let this guy go. Caught him on a little H2 Express flat sided crankbait. Oh it's a nice fish. There he goes. Water temps fifty seven degrees. Oh yeah. That's cool looking. That's kind of like how Mecca's brother's house is like there's a it's kind of built on the hill and so you, from the front of the house you only see the top half and when you come in the back you can tell that it's actually like a two-story house it's cool looking he plays guitar too he's got like a game room with his guitars and old game system and stuff like that we we're supposed to go up there for thanksgiving Mecca got the flu so he couldn't go now this oh my god did you see that like the last part. Oh my gosh. He hit it right at the boat. Oh my god. That scared the heck out of me. Oh god. Oh, that's what it was, Brandon. There's an otter. You see her? Otter or beaver? You see it right there? He's hissing at us. That's an otter. That's what that was. Look at him. Hey. Go on to the dock. Go under so I don't have to go around. You'll be able to get down. <laughs> Oh, 
towing motor is barely going to make it. That's what I love about this little boat. <laughs> Look, there he is out there. You see him? Mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a bad one either. He's pale looking. You got your suppliers? He hit it hard? No, no, it's like, I think I did like one jerk or whatever. Where your pliers at? I'll get them for you. I did like one jerk and I just, I thought I was hitting bottom. You gonna throw him on the scale or no? I can. I can get this fucking hook out. I couldn't get my camera on quick enough. <laughs> Oh, I see where he came out. There's a lay down right there. Oh, you bastard. Dang. Let's see, one, one pound even. One pound, two ounces. Dang, one found five eighths bigger. Found something, man. He looked nice whenever he was coming through the water. Yeah, see that that lay down where he came off right up there. You can only you can see the little stump. I don't know if you see that dark spot where the log actually is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one. God, he was shallow too. Uh, that's another good one. No, he's not as big as the first one. I mean, he's fighting like he is though. Oh, he may be. He may be the same size. No, he's small. So, come here. Oh, gosh, there we go. He was shallow, dude, right down there. Got a foot of water. <laughs> we may have found out something. We may have. I know he was, huh? Not on the little H Express. Flat sided. Just got one on the other side of the dock. Now we got this one right here. He just kind of swiped at it. I may have kind of found something shallow, huh? That's a nice one. Maybe we can see what our best five go or something. He's a one fort, one fifteen, so almost two pounder. How old was that last one? Two thirteen. That's a pretty fish, healthy looking. Back of his mouth is all red. Let's give him a kiss and let him go. I felt like when I catch right there first, I had a bite, and I was like, let me catch right there real quick. He hit it, basically as soon as it hit the water. Well, this trip's already better than our last one whenever it was freezing cold. <laughs> I just, I'm surprised that we're catching them and show us what we are. Like yours was just probably in about a foot of water and then mine was in about a foot of water. That first one was in about four. I know it's not real deep here, but I didn't, I didn't really expect them to be kind of like hugging the bank. So how are we caught them? What? You just a 
Yeah, you had this little strip. Yeah, maybe about two or three football fields. And then we had that one that swiped in my crankbait when I pulled it up. There's one. Oh, that's a good one. He bit funny. Oh, he's barely hooked. Ah, oh, yes. That's a short and fat one. Gosh. Yeah, but look in the back of his throat. Another shad in there. You can hook him. Another nice pretty fish right there on a little flat side of crankbait. Probably caught our other one right over there. He's gonna go one eight. Nah. I'm gonna say one, one six. One four. Cheater. He's short and fat. Another pretty fish right there. We're almost back to the ramp. Fishing slowed down a lot since our last one. Let's let him go. Oh, calm down. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be cold now. He bit so funny, I felt like I was snagged on the bottom. It might have been only like 15 ounces or something, maybe. I know, I was like, is it just me or is it warmer? It just like hit the bottom and I was like, dang, am I hung up? You don't have no flat side of crane baits? This is the only one I have, I think. But you pro we probably could have used a regular square bill, but... I figured they would have been sluggish since... How hot it was and it got cold real quick. But then again, tomorrow is supposed to be back in the 70s. Dang. Every time we decide to get I know, something, either it's 30 mile an hour winds. Start going on Saturdays. I know, that's what I thought too. Maybe it's a sign on Sundays I need to go to church. Which last weekend when I went, the winds were blowing hard but I was able to catch a few small ones water was crystal clear though I got another one. Bigger one. Oh, that's the same one from earlier. That's the one from earlier. Oh, got him on recording. Yes, I'm recording. I'm recording. He's barely hooked. Oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's long and skinny, though. Look at his fin. Mouth is huge. Look at that it fin. He does have a big mouth. He looks skinny, but he's really not. His tail is all Gosh, he must be older. I might need the pliers on this guy. That's the one I think that swiped at it earlier. 
Did I, I can't tell how many times I've cast it right there. I need to turn on a square bill. Yeah, I think so. Gosh, that's a nice fish. Dang, his tail is torn up on. Okay, this one's three pounds even. Two pounds, two ounces. Again. Staying at zero. You ready? Mm -hmm. oh, he's two pounds eight ounces. Got it. Just trying to make sure I can't it. Two pounds four ounces. Can you get a picture of him real quick even though he looks old? Let's let this fish go. He looks old and kind of beat up. Still a pretty looking fish. He fought hard. I think this is the one that swiped on my bait this morning. He goes right back to the tree. And I've casted so many times with that big old cypress tree laid down right there. And finally. It's crazy. We fished all the way. What? About a mile down that way? Probably. And we've only had our really our fish it only came within this 200 yard stretch right here and that's that's our third fish right here a little squirrel bill flat sided